Hi guys, it's Ratchet5. Today we are making a video uh, discussing the Pick'ems. Now, um, if you uh, haven't been aware of the Pick'ems uh, on the uh, DRWC Discord, uh, I've given people the opportunity to uh, choose who they think, um, wh who, what the outcome would be of various races in the tournament. Um, uh, we started with round one, uh, which has been completed, tallied up, and I'm going to go over it right now. Uh, I'm joined by Cola Pro, who helped me uh, tally this up, so thank you very much, uh, Cola Pro. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so um, as you can see here, we, I have a Word document, and basically what this Word document is, um, the ones that are red, that means that those are the only people who got um, that one right, and the only person, for example, who got Luke versus Christian right, where Christian won, was Ghosty. Um, the black ones here are the only people who got it wrong, and there's like more more opportunities where like the minority got got it wrong rather than you know the minority got it right but there were a few uh you know toto versus me keyford versus cookies was kind of like 50 50 artux versus ghosty um g4 versus Fremont. uh yeah the kind of things that you would expect um you know anyway so um without any further ado i'm going to release the results uh, for round one um so we tallied all this up and we found that the winner of round one was none other than Baron Zeph on 25 out of 32. So yeah, congratulations. Oh, and yes, Willie won. You guys were tied. <laughs> so, yeah. so well done, you guys. Um, third place uh, was tied between myself and Avid Hyde 71. Um, then we had a G4 video five on on uh, 23 as well as, well as Ghosty, Color Pro, and Max. And then uh, we had, you know, 22s, 21s, and then last but not least, we had Cookies on Toast on 14. Um, but considering that, like, you know, some of these people really didn't know a lot of people's skill levels, uh, you, did, you guys did a good job. You got over half, so apart from Cookies on Toast, of course. So, uh, you know, better luck next time. Anyway, but the good thing about this is that uh, even if you're behind um, by a little bit, it won't matter so much as long as you did well in round two. And in round two... Um, Basically, round one is going to be worth one point for every right answer. So all of these people who got out of 32. By the way, the reason it's 32 and not 48 is simply it's obvious. Uh, a lot of people uh, left. Um, I did a special vote on some of the people who replaced other people. Um, but I'm not going to include that because not many people voted. And even some of those races were illegitimate. Like Hunter was on there and he only did one race. So I'm just thinking that, you know leave it and we're going to just grade it off um you know uh, all uh, the ones that everyone voted in i think we had 19 responses i think one of the responses was someone called the king and apparently wasn't king europe one so i have no idea who that is so if you if if you <laughs> if, if you're someone please speak up but uh, you put your, your youtube name is lyle bandicoot and it wasn't lyle so i don't know who that was <laughs> um anyway uh, so yes, we're moving on to round two. I'm going to reveal um, not the results of the individual person, um, but the results of uh, the um, you know how they how how it all like shaped up. So you can see while you watch round two uh, wh who the favorite is and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to switch to that. Give me a second. Okay, so um, so this is round two. We've had 18 responses. Um, this is closed now. Round two pickems have all done, especially as the races are all done. Um, as you may or may not know, we're just uploading them this week. Um, all right, so we got we got Luca 44 versus Martiste. Um, very Luke is very much a strong favorite for this, 94.4%. Uh, we've got Bronze F versus Colapro. Uh, Bronze is a favorite. I actually voted for Colapro because I thought the Bronze would be all apathetic this round. Uh, but uh, most people thought that uh, Bronze F would win. Did you vote for yourself? Uh, I think I didn't. You didn't. That's not a good mentality. You know, you shouldn't do that. You should always vote for yourself in these kind of situations. Um, yeah, probably. We got Katie Lady versus Zaidskate, uh, where Katie Lady is on ninety-four point four percent. That match has actually already happened, and Katie Lady did win. So congratulations, everyone who didn't pick Zaidskate, which is one person apparently. So we'll find out who that is later. Uh, Lobster versus Fremond, hundred uh, percent pick Lobster. Um, uh, Mr. Game Sandy versus myself, 77.8% uh, uh, picked me, uh, I picked myself, and uh, this is the only um, match where I think the second placer got more, actually I don't know, we'll come back to that actually. And then we got Yes Willy One versus Firefan12, uh, Yes Willy One got 83.83%, um, Cookies on Toast versus Ezra Monkey, no, this is, the, this is another one where the second place beat the first placer. Desert Monkey JK got 55.6% um, over 44.4%. Um, 
you'll see that race in a couple of days. I'm not revealing who won or anything, but yeah, this is, I guess, like the closest um, of the of all the races. Um, and then we got Nguyen versus Irides, where Nguyen has 77.8%. Now we come down to this one's pretty interesting actually, the third place Pacific race winner, because there's four people in this race. 50% um, think Max, 27.8% um, Gabe, 16.7% Keeford, and Azrieko comes up fourth at 5.6%. Uh, and then we've got the third place European race winner, which is 66.7% uh, for Placey Hull, 22.2% uh, uh, for Artux, and um, Poor King Europe won at 11.1%. All right, so um, yes, uh, keep an eye out for these races uh, this week, these round two races. Um, if you've got some kind of stakes, uh, you'll be able to see how you went. Um, so yes, three points uh, if you get a right answer in round two. You know, round one, it was just one, uh, three points here. Uh, so that's a possible, what, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, out of a possible 30 points. So there's not as much as round one, but, um, you know, each right answer is worth a, a little bit more. So um, the pickums for round three are currently open. Um, and that sounds a little bit odd because, like, you know, we haven't uploaded round two yet. But yes, it, will, it does contain spoilers uh, for round two. Um, but if you want, if you so desperately want to pick uh, who you think will win um, uh, in round three, then go ahead. Um, it will be open for the foreseeable future, maybe another four days. And, you know, like I'm, I'm not in any rush to close it. I know like at least one match has already been done. Um, Cole is actually done his match, haven't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, so one match has already been done, but, but very few people know the result of that. And I've just asked people that if they do know the result to pick who you thought, you know, would have won, you know, before you, you knew the outcome of the race. Anyway, um, yes, uh, the Pickham's uh, winner will be the uh, International King of Crafts, the first ever International King of Crafts. So there is uh, something, some high stakes on the line here. Um, round three, uh, the points will be five points uh, per guess right. So we're just gonna go up each round. Um, you know, each round is more important than the last. And when it comes to round three, I think the, the races are a lot uh, tighter as well, which means they'll make it, a you know, Pretty interesting when it comes to, to that round. Um, but yes, yeah, so congratulations to Yes Willy One and Baronzef uh, on your round one victory. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I hope you uh, hope everyone has a chance to catch up to these guys. And uh, good luck to all. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.